Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. And this part we're going to take on the Duford Town Gym Leader, who is uh, Brawly, the fighting type master, or whatever you want to call him. Now he's actually not that bad, he's actually is kind of uh, challenging, so let's get right into the battle. Okay, he wants to see what I'm made of, and he will see. Gym Leader Brawly, and his first Pokemon is a Chop, it's not really that hard, it's a fighting type. And if you're having trouble with this gym, what you're going to want to do is catch like a Ralts, an Abra, or a Talo, or any other flying or psychic type you can find, because that's going to be uh, the best moves you can use against it. And what you're going to want to watch out for the most is the move Bulk Up, which will raise both its uh, attack and defense, so it'll be really a lot stronger and it'll be harder to take out. But uh, this is going to do 16 damage because it depends on the level. And he uses a potion like a bitch, but whatever. But uh, it really won't make a difference for me because I'm using a special attack. But if you're using a flying type move, then it, you're going to want to watch out because it'll... Every time he uses a bulk up, it'll just do less, uh, less damage. And hopefully it hits itself and kills itself. Alright. That was even still kind of hard, even though it's not that hard of a Pokemon it could take out. But it gets up to level 14, which is pretty nice. And a Metatite, which is part fighting, part psychic. And, uh, this is probably his easiest Pokemon. Uh, let's see, I believe Flying would be the only type that's strong against it, but, uh, that you can at least get at this point in the game. Maybe if you have a Dark type move, I don't know if you can really get a Dark type move this early in the game. You probably can, but I don't really know. I'm just going to use uh, just random moves and try and take it out. It's it's not that bad of a Pokemon, I guess, but it, it does stupid things like focus energy. That, oh, wow, that did, like, nothing. Uh, whatever, at least it's slower now, but whatever. And But the, the reason it makes it so easy is because its main fighting move is focus punch, and uh, it's going to keep using that, but as long as you hit it, then it won't be able to use focus punch because it loses its focus and then can't attack. So, if you just, if anything, just get a Pokemon out there that can keep attacking it, like, over and over again, and it probably won't do anything to you, except maybe get a couple of light screens out. <coughs> so, that's not a big deal. But Makuhita is a very, very powerful Pokemon at this point in the game. And it is actually, like, really hard to kill if you don't, like, know what you're doing. So, what I'm gonna do is start out by uh, paralyzing it, and wow, I don't know how I was faster than that. I don't know, Makuhitas aren't really that fast, but still. So I'm going to start off by paralyzing it, and then, uh, okay, good, I, I survived. And uh, using a Leech Seed, so I can get a little bit of damage off every turn. And so that, okay, paralyzed, nice. And so every turn I'm going to be able to get a little bit of experience, I mean hit points, back, even if my Shroomish isn't on the field anymore. So might as well get a little bit of damage off before it kills me, because I know my Shroomish isn't really going to do much against this, uh, this Makuhita. But just like the Machop, just make sure it doesn't get a lot of bulk up stuff, because once it does, you're basically screwed. Because it'll just use Vital Throw, and you'll be dead, basically. But, uh, I'm actually going to send out my, uh, my Zigzagoon, just so I can, uh, heal my Rolts, because, I don't know, Rolts are just so much weaker than Makuhita right now. And, I don't know. It'll probably die if I don't heal it, so might as well. I don't really like using potions, but I don't know. And, wow, it's, par it's paralyzed again, so that's pretty cool. And... Uh, uh, let's see. I don't know. We'll just... I'll use Tackle, I guess, or Cut, whatever. And Arm Thrower. So that'll definitely kill me. Because it's my HM bitch is so weak anyway. Whatever, he did his job. Sacrificed himself for the good of the team. And now I shall use my Pandora to get a lot of damage on it with confusion. And you gotta keep in mind that once it gets into yellow, it will use berry, a citrus berry, which heals 20, I believe, something like that, I don't know. Uh but I knew that was gonna happen, so 
probably two confusions, maybe three will do the trick. Yeah, probably two more. The vital throw. As long as it doesn't kill me, I should be okay. Yeah, it's not very effective, but I still did a decent amount. So hopefully I can take it out with this confusion with the help of the leech seed. And come on. Yes. Alright, that wasn't that bad. But like once it starts using a bunch of potions and a bunch of bulk ups, it gets really, really hard to kill. So, yeah, he's talking about making a splash, whatever. And he gives you a gym badge, the knuckle badge, I think it's called. Uh, and the, the place lights up. Yeah, the knuckle badge. So, this lets you use flash outside of battle, and funny thing is, you don't actually need to be beat this gym leader until right, right before the Elite Four, because you don't need flash to beat the game. Like, you can just go through the tunnel blind if you really want to. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you could, uh just wait until the very end of the game to beat this, but I went ahead and did it now, because it's nice experience, and no point in doing it later, because it'll be too easy. And he's with TM08, which is bulk up, which is a fighting type move, which raises attack and defense. It's a good move for a fighting type uh, Pokemon. And I'm going to teach it to, uh... I'm going to teach it to my, uh... Shroomish once it evolves, but I really doubt I can learn it now. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my, uh... Air into the front just f because I can, I guess. And let's head back into that cave and do what we couldn't do before because we needed flash. Well, we had flash, we just didn't, like, we didn't have the gym badge so we couldn't use it. Stupid wild Pokemon. Anyway, you can come over here and pick up an escape rope, which is useful if you want to get out of here once you're done. And it's just like the gym, uh, gym, yeah, the gym, and, like, the little circle of light and everything else is dark, but, I don't know, it's pretty, if, if you look up here, you can come back here later and go up there once you have the bike, but you can't now, so, whatever, and this place is pretty simple, just follow the road, there's a few different turns, but just go this way and it'll be fine, and, let's see, there's not much here, stupid Pokemon, Oh, whatever. That doesn't really matter. And let's see. I think this is the right way. Oh yeah, you can go over here and pick up an item, which is an Everstone, which you can give to your Pokemon if you don't want it to evolve. Which is stupid in my opinion, and pretty much everyone else's opinion too, but... Doesn't matter. Might as well get it. Never know if it might come in handy. And once you go that way, you can come down here and come into this little place. And this is who we were looking for, Steven. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me? Yep, so we give him the letter that we got from that one old dude. Uh, so he's like, thank you, you didn't have to go through the trouble, but I'll give you a TM, which is a really good move. Steel Wing. It's, uh, it's a flying, it's actually not flying, it's a steel type move, but you can teach it to flying type Pokemon with, because they have wings. Yeah, so... Uh, it's a decent move if you have a flying type Pokemon. But now that we gave that to him, we can head over to the next town. So, uh, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, we will head into Slateport City. So, see you next time.